Hey everybody, Jameis here, home handyman extraordinaire. I'm here today with one simple question for you. Do you know how good the air quality in your home is? I bet you you don't, I bet you it's worse than you think it is. According to the Canadian Lung Association, we spend about 90% of our time indoors. However, some of the worst quality air we breathe all day comes from indoor sources. Pollution, allergens, too much humidity, too little humidity, it all contributes to poor indoor air quality. Why ventilate? Life inside an energy efficient home generates both moisture and pollutants. The moisture comes from cooking, washing, showers, and breathing. Unchecked, you will likely find moisture condensing on windows and causing deterioration throughout your home. Areas of excess moisture are also breeding grounds for mold, mildew, fungi, dust mites, and bacteria. Too dry can cause personal discomfort and cracking in wood products in your home. A typical HRV unit features two fans, one to take out household air and the other to bring in fresh air. The center core system transfers heat from the outgoing stream to the incoming stream in the same way that a radiator in your car transfers heat from the engine's coolant to the outside air. As the streams move through, heat is transferred from the warm side of each passage to the cold while the air streams never mix. Although your HRV might look different inside than this one, it too will contain components that require maintenance at least once a season. There's a center core system, as I said, that needs to come out and be rinsed in the bathtub, let dry, and then slid back in. There are also two filters that you can rinse at least once a season, but every second season, you should take these, throw them away, and put new ones in. According to the Government of Canada's website, ventilation is key to improving indoor air quality. You need to control the source of the contamination, then ventilate your space, and that's exactly what this HRV is designed to do. Why don't we go upstairs and take a look at the humidistat controller for this. And now we find ourselves upstairs at the HRV's control humidistat. Why don't we take a look at some of the basic functions. This humidistat is specific to the HRV we own, so I would recommend you take a look at your owner's manual for the basic switch settings. However, what I can tell you is how to set the dial correctly based on the outside temperature. When it goes anywhere from about 0 to minus 10, you can maintain 40% humidity in your home. If it gets below minus 10 outside up to about minus 20, you're going to want to set that at about 30% humidity. When it goes below minus 25, you're going to want to set it at about 25% humidity. Any more or less than that, you're going to either have sweating on your windows or your house is going to be far too dry. Having an HRV in your home is one of the most economical ways to exchange your stale indoor air for fresh outside air, maintain your humidity, and do it without you having to do anything manually. No longer do you have to be the grumpy old man saying, hey, are we trying to heat the outside every time someone opens the door?